Greetings, Sir Daniel 1975. Back again, and with a new ship to show off. Many of you have this. This is the free anniversary ship, the Samsar Cruiser, or the Samsar Cruiser, or that's the phrase. Um, let me open it up here. Look what's going on. And uh, as you can see, yes, I have grinded down all the Starship Masteries. Um, and I will not show off a ship until that's done. So there might be some other people who have already shown this ship off. I know there have been on YouTube, but <clears throat> they were not finished grinding down the Masteries. So you don't really get to see the, the way the ship totally performs. Um, if you haven't figured out, I decided to dust off the, uh, the Gemadar space set. It's one of my favorite space sets. And I had the Mark 12, and I upgraded it to at least Mark 13. I'd give it a little extra oomph. Um, it will be a lot better at Mark 14, but it's pretty costly to do it. I just haven't done it yet. Um, don't know if I will. Might, might not. But anyway, there you go. There's that. Um, and since I'm running that, I'm running the Polaron build with this. And all the Polarons I'm using, I crafted. And I stuck with the ones that were at least crit D times 2 or critical severity times 2. Um, some of them got a damage bonuses with them. Uh, some of them got uh, critical chance bonus with them as well. Um, this is the only one that was a crit D's that I crafted that didn't um, upgrade to a ultra rare when I was upgrading it, but I kept it anyway. All my other Polaron beams I sold, and no matter what they were, um, crit D, crit H damage, and crit D times three, that one got. I, off the exchange, bought myself an omnidirectional Polaron beam. And uh, obviously running the kinetic cutting beam, and uh, an upgraded to Mark 13 Omega Omega Plasma Torpedo Launcher. It's one of my favorites. And let's see, let's show off what else. And I got one of these from the uh, Fleet Store, the uh, Vulnerability Locator Mark 14 Plus Polaron, along with Critical Chance. <clears throat> um, and then these were just ones I uh, upgraded up to Mark 14. Um, then I threw in my science consoles. I got one with the uh, plus uh, power insulators and one with the uh, shield emitters. Zero point conduit. That's a no-brainer. You get your uh, bonus to critical chance and a bonus to... Uh, power insulators as well, and a plus to all power systems. That's a great console. Uh, the Nukara one for the uh, an other power insulator and a uh, plus the shield power setting, and then of course uh, the accuracy with beam weapons bonus there. And, of course, everyone runs the simulated module, uh, plus 1% crit chance, plus 10.4% critical severity, plus 5 weapon power, plus 5.7 fall repair. We all know the, the wonderful um, bonuses you get out of the simulated module. And then there's the universal console that comes with it. It's kind of nice. But I have found I rarely ever need to use it, so I might be taking it off. And as I understand, it's equipable on any ship. So I might put it on ships that seem to always need something like that, an extra shield heal. So um, it's kind of a neat shield heal. It also sends out sort of like a, a pulse around the ship that affects the enemies when you... Uh, when you uh, activate it. Um, let's see, before I show off the, the rest of the stats here, let me go to, let's see here, 
traits. All right, um, I tweaked my space reputation a little bit because I wanted to try to get the most out of a critical chance, a critical severity. Now, I've been running the one from that reputation with the 16 plus percent uh, <coughs> critical severity. Um, but I popped on this one uh, plus 4% critical hit chance um, with the uh, from the uh, Romulan reputation. Um, just another you know help with the shields. I found that as a really good good one to have. And then of course the uh, Omega Graviton amplifier. I like that. Uh, back to skills. Uh, sorry, not skills. Stats. All right. Um, uh, with all my training and everything I got going on with the ship, uh, 81, uh, 202 is my hull strength. It's pretty darn good. Uh, hull repair rate, 231.6% rate. Shield regeneration rate, 208.5% rate. Uh, shield's uh, a little bit low for something you'd want to use on game, but I've got so much power as layer shield emitter stuff going on that I've, the shields are staying up quite a bit and that's the bonuses on that and then here is what I've got going on with the critical and accuracy stuff right now which is not too bad and uh, <clears throat> um, I haven't since I really got everything criticalized up I haven't really tested it in battle too much so what you all will see once I get to doing that is going to be a lot what I see for you know first set of times so there you go on that um now I just want to say for a free ship being tier six and also with the new commander position I really really like the ship and it also I think looks really good I think it's a very sharp looking starship you know it's not a um starfleet looking ship you know some people they want to you know, faction-looking ships. Um, this is clearly an alien-looking ship. But I really like the way it looks. I mean, it looks like a starship. A spaceship. It looks like something you'd see. Something alien. It's very aggressive-looking. It's been pointed out that this looks like the head on the, um, the, the quasi-alien versus predator. The one that was the alien that came out of the the predator it has these little things on the side it does look a lot like the head on, on that um i don't know and, and i and i love the way the gem set looks on it. it almost makes it look like it might even be a big gem ship it's got all the sharp angles and everything it's pretty pretty cool looking um and it performs pretty well <coughs> now people have talked about Hey, it didn't have that much tactical. It only had a lieutenant tactical. And of course, most people are going to take <clears throat> the Ensign Universal and make that the um, uh, another tactical. And that's what I did. Most people are probably going to run another beam ability and not torpedoes. But I ended up doing that. Now, let me show you what I did with, <clears throat> with the Engineer um, Command. <clears throat> Well, for starters, the the, uh, the lieutenant position, I made that engineering team too. Uh, sometimes when you're running an auxiliary to battery build, you don't have enough uh, battery power to really get enough out of hazard emitters to heal yourself. So I did that. And since this console that comes with the ship is a shield heal, uh, where is it? Right there. Um, I didn't worry about putting emergency power to shields. So... There's that. Now for the uh, the ensign ability, I'm using concentrate fire power one. So this is a like a tactical buff. Um, it's pretty darn good, okay. And then over here on that position, I'm using suppression barrage one, and that works really good as well. Now something that this one does. Uh, let's see if we can up what it says it does. Oh, it's not, oh, I need to go to the person's position. Uh, where is she at? Um, okie dokie.
Sorry for the long pause here. Uh, it's not really telling me. I thought it was going to tell you what all this stuff does. Anyway, the thing about it, these abilities, one of them, I think it's concentrate firepower. I believe it turns your torpedo and your foe, and your, sorry, your, your, your friend's torpedoes into a high yield torpedo. Yes, there it is. Over... Once per four seconds grants <clears throat> torpedo high yield one for for ten seconds to one damager. And since I'm running the Omega, that gives me the um, that energy bolt that uh, basically disintegrates the ship. So um, it's pretty cool. And. As you can see, you got the auxiliary to battery build, emergency power to weapons. I like to run them together. Um, I am running <clears throat> for a uh, to help out a gravity well one. Um, although my character is not really trained to help support that, some of the consoles I have on the ship help it out. So that's this ship in a nutshell. Uh, again, I really like it, and for especially for a free ship, I mean. And this is definitely actually be one of the ships I use on and off for time to come. So, um, yeah, they did. This was a, a really nice gift that they did. I, I hope people really appreciate um, this free ship. I mean, it's a tier six ship. Tier six ship, and is, doesn't it have eleven consoles? Two, three, four. Yeah, it's got eleven consoles. Spot. So, um, <clears throat> and it's got a commander. Um, sorry, Lieutenant Commander, uh, Command Officer position. So it's a pretty pretty sweet deal, and if you're not going to get this ship, shame on you. And uh, for those of you who, who also have this ship or are getting it, smart. And uh, uh, that's it for today, and I guess I'll catch you all on the flip side.